All right, that's the top of the hour. So let's get straight on into it with Escape Simulator. You can see here I've made my own little person. There's not a huge amount of customization options, but there's enough. I've just made a typical little science man. Now, Escape Simulator is a very puzzle-heavy game, and while I have not played but, um, myself, so like I've done the tutorial and that's it, I haven't played any other levels, I do know the trick behind most of these. I've seen them in action, so I would recognise the puzzles and get a bit of an extra easy time with them. So I'm not going to bother with those, um, those basic levels. The extra levels, I think I've seen Treasure Island and Leonardo's Workshop before. I don't remember the other four, but we've just recently had the Magic DLC come out. So I figure I might as well start with that. It's going to be something I've got no knowledge of. To be fair, I don't think I know any of these except for the Portal DLC. But Magic DLC, let's get right on to that. I never understand these little loading screen messages. Find a whisper where... Settling physics? <laughs> okay. So we're in a shop to start with. Now, for those who don't know Escape Simulator, I suppose I should actually give a bit of an introduction to it. It is an escape room type puzzle game where, as you can see at the top of the screen, anything that you can interact with is given an actual classification. This wizard hat is apparently a key item, so I can pick it up and have a look at it. Just look it over, see if there's anything interesting. It doesn't seem like I can interact with the brooch, so I'm just going to keep that in my inventory for now. There is an owl stand, there are scrolls. Now this door, I, I presume the door is the way that we want to go. So we need a candle, a scroll, a pumpkin, a book, and a cauldron. Nope, never mind. We need to work out the actual order of them. Also, I can shake things around and see if anything happens. Now this... The game isn't as simple as it may seem. There are some actual tricky bits with the interactions. Something saying that it's not a key item doesn't necessarily mean that it's useless. Key items are, of course, going to be the most important part. Collect five, win a prize. And I can just eat the chocolate. Lovely. So there's... Bits of a shattered bottle here. Candy box? Can I open the candy box? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. More potions. Candy boxes are just stacking, so they're not that important. And here we have a token. There are several tokens hidden in each level. Yeah, so. Um, and tokens can be hidden very, very well. They are just extra collectibles, though. This is the hint button. If I click on that, it will actually give me a hint, so I'm not going to go for that. <laughs> 
wizard hats. Okay. Extra bit of information. The clues in this game tend to be shown on the locks. So this lock is a three digit lock. There's something about a blue and green stack, a green stack and a red stack. So let's have a look around and see if we actually have any information about that sort of thing. It's just more candy boxes. Take the lid off this and magic candy. Okay. Dragon egg. I like to... I'm giving each item a bit of a look over. Just because some of them can have actual bits hidden on them. Like the... Um, uh, the tokens. That's what I'm thinking. Lost my train of thought for a moment. Um, but yeah, tokens can be found on items. And you've also seen you can drag things onto each other to interact. So I've just gained a wand from this book by feeding it, because it was called the Starving Grimoire, so I figured give it some food. Probably talk about that book now. Candy box. Eternal Shatter Vars. Hang on. It changes. Okay, hang on. Blue, green. Green at the top, red in the middle, blue on the bottom. That seems significant. Let's have a look at the others. Roach, moon, so sun, moon, leaf. So we found, we found the sun, but it's on a hat. It was on this hat, and hat stand. Oh, okay. So, the sun, arms out, one leg up. That's the right leg from my perspective. So if I were to... There we go. Now is... This is more of a star than a moon. I keep hitting the wrong bo uh, button. And I... I keep feeling like I should be able to open the candy boxes, but because they stack, I'm pretty sure that means there's no interaction with them. The eye book. Can I just... do I just poke its eye? Do I make eye contact? Hello. No. It's looking at something, I think. It was, in fact, just looking at this corner. I've got another wand. Toy Summoner. Insert five chocolate wraps. There's one. Here's another chocolate. Might as well just eat that. Divided blue. Candy blue. Orange. Oh, 
this looks. Hang on. Let's store everything for a moment. Because now none of this stuff is a key item. But it looks significant, especially when I consider the colouring of the I guess not. If I were able to interact here and actually put them in a specific place, the ghost outline would snap to it. Anti-gravity candy swirls. jars of candies, which I'm pretty sure is this, so this would be two. I don't know what... oops. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, I don't know what else the selection is, though. to collect everything because I even if they're not key items tw tw times tw what? hang on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and I get a token. Oh yeah. Uh, that I can just put back down now. Is there anything on the plant pot? No. Um, but yeah, there, there is a trash can where you can put items that you don't think are, are relevant anymore. I think I might have misunderstood the other this one because I now realize <laughs> what <laughs> um, okay so the blue is two let's, let's just go through it blue Pink, orange, lipus. So that's this. One thousand two hundred and seventy-nine. What? One thousand two hundred seventy-nine. But why the? Blue, pink, orange, if only one of them has lipus, lipus, whatever that is. Uh, I'm still going to collect the scrolls. Anything in the mug? Under the mug? Nope. Mug is probably like this. some potion parts. Well, continue the search. More scrolls. I'm going to collect all of the scrolls, just so that I have a count of them. And I should probably do the same for a few things. Potions and... Uh, Names. Uh, what was the other thing that. Um, 
there was something else that I thought... Oh, candy boxes. Right. Oh, okay. This one, the glove, is the reforming vase. So blue is a very round vase. Uh, very round or... Eh, it's not that round. It's more like this. Green is tall. It's probably... Uh, this one. Yeah. And red... Narrow neck... Like that. And it just pops open. And I get the Glove of Need. Which is apparently a storage item. And it contained a chocolate bar. Ooh. Uh, potion bottles are not stacking. That makes me think there may be something significant about them, but my inventory is getting rather full. Uh, so let's just lay things down where I'll be able to find them again. to get rid of it. The wrapper's in. I'm now missing one chocolate. Uh, I don't think I've got anything I can do with these. The eggs and the gems don't seem to do anything, so I can just dump them. Now, I haven't looked at the wands. Can I interact with these at all? I can. Can I use them together? No. Okay. Nothing. These, these shoe prints make me feel like I'm meant to stand here for something. Also, I... Okay, how many candles are there? Three. That's not a candle. No candles. There is a time limit if you want to get a trophy. It's not an actual hard time limit. So three candles. Sixteen scrolls. Well, that doesn't help. Um, okay. <laughs> Door is not what I had hoped. Sun, moon, and... So there are three different hats... I found two. Is there anything significant? There's a book up there. I can't grab it. Oh, this is important. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let's store that blue, pink, and orange are the ones I need. Right. Blue, pink, and orange. Okay. So. Blue, pink, and orange. Right. So, I need to convert everything into lippus. So, there's three auras, which convert to 15 kunus. 15 kunus plus 2 and 4 and 2, so that's 15 plus 8 is 23 kunus, 
make 2,300 lipis, 2,300 plus 1,279 is 3,579. 3,579. There we go. Overlooking one simple object. Clear out the inventory. And we find out what the Toy Summoner does for us. The Ghost Map. Ulrich Shadow Step goes from that corner to the stand behind the counter, around the counter, and then to the feet. So he starts from this corner, goes over to here, around behind the counter, and then to the feet. Do I have to stop at each point? Here. 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 Well, that didn't work. work. It's, it's that corner. Straight across to the... Oh, okay, hang on. So, start in this corner, straight across to this, then just in here, then around to here, and then to here. Or not. I was doing it, right? So he comes here, comes across here, then up to here, then to here, and then across to here. There must- oh! I bet I need the boots. Okay. I must need the boots before I can do that. And to get that and the boots, I need the hats, which means to get the hats, I need whatever this is. top of green, green on top of green, red on top of red. Unopenable books. Is any of the books different? No. Is there anything behind the books? No. Nothing. Just stack all of them up there very haphazardly. Uh, I've used all of this, so I think I can just trash it all to keep it out of the way. Pressing the wrong buttons. Do the excess candies have... No. Okay. I was checking them for tokens. I did not see any. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's not physically on top of each other. It's these symbols. Blue on top of green. What orientation are the lines? Horizontal on green, vertical on red. Five. Blue on top of green. That's a five. Green on top of green is three. Red on top of red is eight. Five, three, eight. Yes! And that gives me the two hats that I need. So, the moon. Jump for joy. And the leaf. Bent arms, right leg, oh, left, left from my perspective, kicked straight out. So, spread eagle, jump for joy. Bent arms up. Self walking boots. Put the self walking boots on there. From here, it walks across to this puddle, this puddle, this puddle, and then it jumps back. But from here, the map showed me he walks over here, 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 and then back. God damn it! <laughs> Come on! That would have been so good, come on. No? I thought I had that. Comes up here, then over here, then down to here, and then the boots reset, but the map Probably open the map. No, put the. Open the map and then pin it. So once he gets to here, he walks straight across to here, then up here, then across, and then back to here. What am I missing about this then? So, very confused. Three cauldrons, three candles. I don't think I can get to the second layer. Unmovable pumpkins. <laughs> well then. with the wands. It doesn't seem like it, not with this one. Still no? The wand doesn't snap to anything so it doesn't seem like I can use it for something. Check inside the hats for the tokens. And then once I'm done with them, I can get rid of them.
feel like I've got to be missing something really obvious. potions achieve anything. Doesn't seem like it. There was a token inside them. I don't know which one. could just go through and collect all of this trash now so that I can bin it all. Saves me having a bunch of little interactable items around. It would take a fairly long time though. I regret smashing every bottle. <laughs> Still a key item. <laughs> okay. Nothing under the little trolley. Doesn't seem to be anything on there. The only thing I can find are the boots and the map. Hello, hello. So the boots do their little walk and then zoop back over here. And the map says that from here you go to the stand and then around the back here and then to the starting point. nothing happens. Do I have to put the map somewhere? I don't think so. Is... Screw it, I've been here for too long and I'm streaming. Give me a hint. Wow. Real helpful hint game. Uh, I already have the map. What's the next one? Yes. I have deduced that the boots start in the bottom right corner. Next. The door. What about the door game? Are you going to give me... Oh, you're just going to give me answers now, are you? Oh, f I'm a f goddamn idiot. Okay. It starts here. It walks over here. Candles. Hat. 
cauldron. Candles hat, cauldron. Hat, books. Candles, scrolls. That's too many. So if, if we just go by the map, it would be cauldron's hat, no, cauldron pumpkin, book, I need to, cauldron pumpkin, went past it, book, candles, scrolls. Okay. And that gets me access to the second floor. Uh, I can get rid of this now, thank you. I am good, Mel. Confused, but that is how the way of games goes. How are you doing? Take care. Broom, broom, enchanted broom, and it's a key item. <laughs> Why is this one a key item? And we've got another five chocolate wrappers. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Let's go put the wrappers in. Tired and upset. Oh, that, that's never a good time. <laughs> Is whatever's got you upset something that's safe to talk about on the stream? Or would you rather talk about that some other time afterwards? Book. The Book of Wands. Lighter wood types are more common, of low quality, and cheaper, while darker wood types are re more rare and higher quality. There are three types of wand cores, each one producing a different visual effect when casting. Stars make a phoenix, sparks is a dragon, and lightning is a unicorn. Okay. Wand power grading. Cast a generic growth spell on the power grading trellis. Weak wand vines reach the lowest circle, strong wand vines reach the highest circle. You're going to come around and give me a, another wand, aren't you? Yoink. Yep. Okay, so... Okay, white wand is very high power. It's lightning, which means it's the unicorn, right? Yes. And it is a light wood, meaning it is... This goes there. This is the medium and wood. It is stars, so it's the phoenix core, and it's two power. So that goes there. And dark wood, three power, and lightning as well. So that's there. This, this is also lightning, right? Lightning three. The lightest wood goes there. Oh, there are four wands to find. Oh, okay. The boots. Uh, 
Excuse me? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I understand. The enchanted broom can clean up the spills. Uh, board earbuds with built-in mic. God, that doesn't sound very high quality microphone. Uh, built-in mic won't work, have no idea how to do things. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah, dis Discord can be weird with detecting microphones. Um, as well as... Does the... How do I even put this into words? I'm guessing that the earbuds connect to the... Is it a computer or a phone that you're trying to talk with people through? Uh, okay, so it starts at the sun. How many steps does it take? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Six, three, five. And it starts at the pointy sun, goes to the s s curvy sun, saw blade, flower. Curvy sun, saw blade, flower. And there's the other one. Um, okay, so it's PC. I'm guessing that it uses Bluetooth to connect to the computer. Um, if you can hear from them, that should be working fine, though. Uh, so this is One Power Light Wand Sparks. So Dragon Light Wand One Power. Demystifying Lamp. of them when they're plugged in but not use the mic. That is a weird one. Crescent moon, full moon. New moon. That goes up there. Half moon. Oh, okay, I see now. This box is just in the way. It's not actually connected to them. Uh, okay, so the first one is Crescent Moon, which it's on. The second one comes down from there. around here. Full moon. Okay. 
The second one is a full moon. The last one is the new moon. So this one's the half moon. Wizard hat. Um, yeah, so with your issue. What's going on here? Um, Discord can be a bit of a hassle. Magic key and magic key is going to let me open the door and escape. I actually managed to do it within the challenge time, with 21 seconds remaining. Oh boy. Uh, um, but yeah, Discord can be a bit weird. Does your computer indicate that there's a microphone plugged in, or is it not doing anything? So we saw that I had missed three tokens. Tokens can be very well hidden in this game. There's got to be some reason that there are, is a stand on both sides here. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too long trying to work out where the last three tokens are. PC says no as well. Well, in that case, I don't... I don't think I've got any clue what's going wrong with that. There may be some sort of driver that's, in, um, that's needed. Chronomancy Hall. What do you mean this statue is a key item? Bars? No. Okay. Griffin has something in its mouth there. <laughs> Alderwood. Foxchester. Rainbard. Grimoire. I presume these are the four houses of the um, whatever this magic academy is. So they've got a bear, a fox, a raven, and a lobster. There's a token outline on the lobster. <laughs> Bunch of parts for the table. Note. Dear Apprentice, don't forget, in times of need, time is your biggest ally. I've enchanted two staffs for you. The Time Staffs, my masterwork. One will cycle time forward, the other backwards. They are not perfect, and they are not yet perfect. They only work on objects that have a very visible magic aura around them. Good luck. Cool. Uh, so things like the sta um, this statue and this hourglass. Time stuff forward. Okay. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. the hourglass. Oh. I have apparently broken the key. Uh, I use this on a candle. The 
candles all need to be the same height. probably shouldn't have broken that key, because I need three keys. Mouse statue. Just right anything behind the crate, no. Whoa! <laughs> Pyramid Diamond Star. Oh, that's the end of it. I should probably try to find the... Uh, backwards Time Staff. Passion on these this butterfly's wings. But I've got no clue what to use it on. Oh, here we go. So the top left is this, the top right. Mm. Okay, I guess it's this, even though it's mirrored. And bottom left is that. Bottom right is there. Oh, and there's the backwards time stuff. Thank you, butterfly. You may go. So now, now I can do all the things. Fix this key. turns off as soon as it melts. Okay. But I can't make them level because this one's tallest is lower than this one's lowest. Work out which candle is the tallest among all of them. Then. The tallest candle, which is going to be this one, is going to have to sit there. Then these two need to swap. Time Echo Crystal. I have no clue what that means. <laughs> 
Okay. Next, bring the board back to its first state. Oh, okay. That's as, that's as far as it goes. So it goes moon, pyramid, diamond, star. I have no clue what I do with that yet. About you. Turning back time doesn't... Okay, turning back time just slows down the things. And forward just speeds them up. is useless until I've actually got all four rings in there, I think. Oh, okay. So moon, pyramid, diamond, star. Moon, pyramid, uh, diamond, star. Another time crystal. Okay, and these drawers. Potion. Half eaten apple, and. Well, this nourishes is something. Uh, I can turn this back into a whole apple. Or. into a completely eaten apple. And then there's a token in it. No, give me give me the token. Do I have to keep going? No. Why no token? Okay, okay. There we go. Uh right, there's also this statue needs fixing. Check chat in a little while. Uh, all right. Hope you sleep well now, and hopefully you'll be able to work out what's going on with the um, oh, microphone as well. insane. So I don't know what that's about yet. That flower pot certainly looks like spring. Well, I broke it. the hourglass back to whatever position I want to in. I would like to stop throwing things whenever I try and use the staff. Oh, oh, oh! Uh, okay, cat goes on... There, that's one, two, three, four. Cat goes on four. Four. Bird. Let's just pin this. Uh, bird or owl goes on nine. Mouse. I have a mouse. Which of these would the mouse be? The chinchilla? That goes on five. Okay. It's it's 
doing something. The table has taken one step towards being repaired. these these banners actually does anything. Uh, let's get this off the screen. There's definitely a token with the lobster. Clock. Clock's got something going, but I haven't seen the clue for it yet. opening for this either. Am I meant to count how many... I'm meant to count how many dots there are, aren't I? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24? There's no way it's a four-digit thing for this, though. And I may have also just been counting some things that weren't actually sparks. Doesn't seem like there's anything of significance up there. Does the butterfly have any significance as a cocoon? Doesn't seem to. They didn't texture the end of it. <laughs> Who dear? Uh, okay. What about as a caterpillar? He's a very good boy. Yes, he is. He's a chubby boy. You can stay here. Can I just break the key after I've used it and then nothing happens? Oh! Because it got stuck and so it, that let me get it out so that I could use it again. Okay. Uh, nothing in this box. this table. I have no clue what time I'm meant to set it to. This doesn't help. <laughs> 
This game does a very good job of making me feel stupid. over tier CD. Thank you very much for the follow. Okay. Glasses aren't anything special. The pipe I doubt is anything special. And it has no tokens. Oop. Oop. That's a lot of words. <laughs> What about this one? The Little Secrets of Charm Potions. That's also a lot of words. Do you have a time on you? You don't. that I'm actually able to interact with right now, basically. Is this one tile? One. Clock frame. Can I make it one o'clock? Uh, I would need it to be like that. This is very precise. That would be one. It has achieved nothing. Because I don't have the minutes either, do I? I would need the second frame. And the second frame is in here. But I'm not sure what I'm doing to get this open. Oh. 8106. when I am not stupid. So let's say 145. Nope. Twelve twenty-five. Okay, twelve twenty-five then. So you need to be on this side, about a mm, bit further, uh, oh, lots further, not that far, a bit further. there we go, and we get a dial piece for the chest, so what am I missing for the next like, there's, there's another dial piece somewhere, then. <laughs> what have I missed? There's got to be something with the hourglass, right? All of the sand gets pulled up. That's just there now. Okay. Two, three, four. There are five stages that it can be at. One, two, three, four, five. So it's not the seasons that it lines up with. Mm, 
what is going on? this type of leaf. Bulbous flower with spiky leaves. None of the houses seem to be specific to it. something to do with having a specific house seasonal portrait and hour I bet but where would I find that information Gems in place and the table assembles. Makes sense. Hourglass is at the second lowest. that it could be winter. House is ravens. Okay, there's the remaining dial piece. Griffin crystal. So if R is this shape, then R and f vertically flipped R is this, and then F is this, L is this, and flipped L is this, but I keep this on the center on, flipped F is this, and then L and flipped L is this, L flipped L, F and flipped F. Pretty well lined up to the oh, there we go. Sun model? Sundial. Okay. Uh, sundial is going to go in here. Sun model, I bet. Yep, it goes up there.
It's a bit awkward to try and turn this thing. Sun Sigil, which I put in here, and it opens, oh dear god, I thought it would just open a door. What are you? No, seriously, what are you? Okay, uh, rotate the outer ring. So we've got an X in there. Right. Oh, okay. Just having the X in there won't do it, though. something that will have a bottom edge, so it needs to be this one. So right now I have bottom edge, centre going top left to bottom right. Then I need... is a path to it. Oh, there's a vertical line as well. Okay, so it has to be... It has to be this and that, because they're the only ones that give the top and bottom lines. This would ruin it. So it's just got to be that thing. Now, is there a way to make those three all accessible? I mean, probably. escape, and I never worked out what the lobster token was. I only found three tokens. That's fine. I spent long enough on there, I think. East Star Shines. This is going to be horrid. Well, that's a five. Um, these mushrooms have magical glows to them. Size potion. 
increase or decrease the size of objects with a heavy magical aura. Every ingredient has elemental affinity towards fire, water, earth, or air. To make this potion, mix together three mushrooms in the cauldron, which have the following elemental affinity total. Three leaf, one water. Right. I don't want to think about that right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure I have to. It's probably the starting point. Three apples gets a token. Cool. Nothing under the table. What's this? That's the four plot um, flower pots. Dragon flower. Logs. There's probably like a token underneath the logs or something. Nope. Just wasting my time. Potion. Book. Book is just the. Yep, that's a lot of text. Fertilizer potion. Add to the cauldron in this specific order. Flower of the plant that attracts only bees. Flower of the plant that attracts only butterflies. Flower of the plant that attracts butterflies and bees. here, another beehive pin, and another. Am I meant to put a flower onto this? Nope. So I've got to work out somehow to... Hang on, there was also... Oh, I've got the notion in my inventory. So I've got two yellow and two metal pins, so I need to have this, 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 and this. I mean, that's definitely the shape it shows. And that's the way up. Okay. Uh, do I have to do the math right now? Fine, fine. Okay. Three leaf and one water. We can only ever get one leaf per mushroom, and we can only add three. So all three have to include one leaf. Then there needs to be one water, and the other two need to have something that counteracts. So... Leaf and water. Leaf and a positive, leaf and a negative. So... Fat mushroom with squiggles, skinny mushroom with squiggles, and chanterelle with splotches. Do these exist? Those look more like dots. Chanterelle with splotches, fat mushroom with squiggles, skinny mushroom with squiggles. Now what do I mix these in? cauldron. Okay. And 
Did I do math correctly? Yes. I've got no damn clue what I need the size potion for. Though. Starflower attracts nothing. Bellflower. Do I need to, like, take all of these off so that the bees can actually get out? <laughs> to have them there. I don't think I'm going to need them in like, these positions. Oops. Oh, the order as well. Hang on. This horizontal is on top of this, which is on top of this, which is on top of this. So this has to be first. Then this, not that, I need a metal one. Then this, and then this. Okay. Now we have bees. Do you attract bees? Yes. Do you attract bees? Yes. You repel bees. And you also repel bees. Okay, so I'm gonna, for the moment, I leave these two here, because I need to work out where are butterflies? Do you, do you want to be happy? Do, do you want to be cut up? Cut up? Oops. Knife. Well, you look rather lovely. You can just sit there. Can I use the size potion on the metric? No. I can use the size potion on the mushroom. Why, though? What significance is there in making mushrooms big? Other than the innuendos that it brings about. Oh god, there's interactable stuff in there as well, so this isn't even the end of this level. Ooh, there's another mandrake up there. Oi. Well, that's definitely a happy mandrake, but how do I get it? <laughs> there's... there's stuff up there as well. Uh, uh, I can kind of reach some stuff. Only the potions, though. No clue what that is. Okay. Oh, butterflies. Okay, so these two repelled bees. This attracts butterflies. This repels butterflies. So this is useless. This one attracts butterflies. 
one of these will attract only bees and the other will attract both bees and butterflies. I don't care which is which. order. I should have cared which is which. Okay. This attracts butterflies. Uh, what do I need first? Only bees. You. Repel butterflies. Attract bees. Boom. Second. Only butterflies. You attract butterflies. You repel bees. And then the star flower must be the one that attracts both. Heck yeah! Oh, fertilizer potion. Then. This gives me one, seven, five, eight, which I can then use here. No, okay. Uh, lowest, highest, second lowest, second highest. So eight, five, seven, one. Eight, five, seven, one. There we go. Token turnip. Plant. And fertilize. Give token. Wait, that's just... That's just the turnip? It's not an actual token? What if grow? Aha! <laughs> okay. Key like carrot. I, I noticed then that the packet does say open before use. Can I use this carrot? Aha! Opens that door. This one is Hearty Radish. Grow Nature's Pulse. What's this one do then? Might as well grow it as well. I'm probably going to need that. Okay, next room. Duplicate potion. Used on objects that have heavy magical aura, duplicates them once. One ingredient from each class is needed. Flowers, mushrooms, aquatic. Aquatic? The ingredient has to be the most potioned one in its class. Types of aquatic plants. I'm, I'm guessing the aether crest is the one that I need. for the ladder little back. We bring you new potion recipes every week. This week, learn how to battle magical fires with the rain cloud potion. Step one, pour on fire, watch the cloud form, watch the fire disappear. Uh, okay. To conjure a rain cloud potion, 
you need to mix it in this order. Whisper Willow, Pear Petal and Pearl Petal Soul Bind. So then I can use the scale to test the four different things. Okay, so the one thing that I know the name of is this one. This is Aethercrest. And if I want to find Whisper Willow, this to Aethercrest. So Aethercrest should be lighter than Whisper Willow for this top setting. Ooh, another Mandrake. Yeah, that one's definitely grumpier than this one. Ooh, and... Can I... Can I use the... What use is a ladder if I can't use it to reach the thing? <laughs> well, whatever information was on that is gone now. <laughs> Let me... No! <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh! Yes! Ladder actually worked! And it gets me a nose. And that's a big nose! Or is it an ear? Little nose on little nose. Ah, uh, okay. So... I need to find one that is heavier than the Aether Crest. This is. So it could be anything. Okay, well, this must be Ocean Thorn because it's like the only one that's lighter than, a um, than Aether Crest. Right? Aether Crest, yes. So this is Ocean Thorn. This is still anything except Pearl Petal, so it's Whisper Willow or Soulbind. This is Whisper Willow. This is Whisper Willow. And it goes first. Then I need Pearl Petal. Uh, let's try you. So Pearl Petal on this should be the same as Aether Crest. So this is Pearl Petal. And then that means this would be Soulbind. Put out the fire. And potency detector. Uh, let me just get this off my screen. Oh, okay. Uh, well, that's going to get pinned. That's one of them. Most potent mushroom. It's not this one. It's that one, okay. And the most potent flower is the bellflower. Okay. And then 
the duplicate potion just needs me to put each of these in. the duplicate potion, I need to duplicate the nose, uh, make one big nose, then I'm going to have to get the ear, why did, okay, made a noise but it's fine, uh, then I get the ladder, put the ladder here so that I can get up to this ear. Aha! And then I need to duplicate the ear and change the size of one. I can also get this compass off my screen. And victory! Again, only three tokens. I've not really been looking for them specifically. The Divination Towers. Inventory space is unlimited. Yes, it just gets rather cluttered. is number of legs. Okay, so this is two legs, four legs, six legs. Inner symbol, environment, air, earth, or water. Does, is this meant to make the room? This looks like useful information. I'll have to come back to it. Teleporter star. Doesn't look like an animal room though. There's a room there as well. It's just an angry face. And this one's a tree. I've got no clue what any of that means, though. Does the teleporter star go in there? Yes. What are you? Square, circle, hexagon, triangle. Okay, step into the teleporter. Oh, okay. Uh, take me back. 
and heave the palmistry potion and poster. Okay. I don't know what this is meant to say. Who knows? Could be anything. I'll need to find something that tells me, like, how much they should have for the different things. Book does not go on there. Very much going on. Keys. Oh, I apparently just nabbed a token off one of the keys while I was clicking frantically. Draw. Nope. Okay, let's have a look at the book. Dahlia L. Despite inventing the repairing spell, she couldn't outshine Laura Bagby in wealth. The life of a wizarding celebrity led her to live in seclusion with her husband. She lived to see her grandchildren grow up and advanced her work. Okay, so... This needs to be Fergus Grimm. Fergus Grimm is the right side. Excuse me. Right side is Cancer. Goes there. Prudent with Queen, he was better off than Arthur Bell. However, he was not as rich as Dahlia Owl, so wealth wise, he is second lowest. Wealth is the middle one. There. His dabbling into dark magic has left him completely alone, so no love. His very long life, which surpassed a century, and his death with, um, were caused by dark magic. So, no love, very long life. But love is the top, life is the bottom, so you did. What? Okay, what was the order of shapes? Square, circle, hexagon, triangle. Square, circle, hexagon, triangle. Square, circle, triangle, no. Square, circle, hexagon, triangle. There we go. Four, two, one, eight. Four, two, one, no, one, eight. And in the chest, tarot cards. And another book. The Enigma of the Invisible Isles. Oh, that's a lot of text. Screw that. <laughs> okay. Was this always up? If this was always up, I am blind. So, we've got all of the uh, tarot cards now. Excuse me. No. What? What is... I wasn't even trying to drop items, I was just pressing... Oh, that's a magnifying glass, not a cube. Okay. So, this should go here, this goes there, that goes... Oops. This one goes there, then the left edge of the lake, the middle of the lake, the right of the lake. Oh, nope, I'm one off. Dark forest. Left edge of the lake, middle of the lake, right of the lake. Nope. 
Almost got it. There we go. 41725 for tarot. Or for a weird eye. No, for tarot. 41725. 41725. And I get a star pin. Oh, and the different types of orbs have their different symbols as well. So that orb has this. Wait, no, that's a four-legged one, which is going to be the... Mm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be this one. Uh, that one has the angry face. And this one has the tree waving hello very enthusiastically. Another star pin. I don't think I've seen anything about flowers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. There's even more to this thing than I expected. can only connect to star pin connectors. Also interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with the map yet. There's probably a book that needs to go here first. I need to find something about flowers. vaguely see in the bottom of each cup a symbol. Why did I just teleport? It's on this side. So, the first symbol. This is the second symbol. Octopus. So it has eight legs and it is an arrow down. That's eight. Yep. Uh, okay. Then. This is the second symbol. Oh, oh, oh. Dog. That's four legs and land, which is a square. So there. And then the other one is a crow. So it's two legs and an arrow up. Okay, we have three star pins now. Oh, no, nothing. 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 Great. <laughs> Useless. So the 
there's got to be a three digit code to do with stars. But how do I know where I'm placing these? Is there like an astrology poster somewhere or something? This is palmistry. That's done. This is the animal runes. That's done. And pendulum. I need to find something that can be used as a pendulum. This would probably indicate what these need to do. So, like, I think this one is this. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely that one. So if I had a pendulum, it would then be telling me what number this needs to be at. But I need to find something that can go on the end and act as a pendulum. Smashing some liquid on the unfinished note did nothing. Pendulum. Can I just stick this on there? Nope. <laughs> it looks about right. I guess it needs to be a crystal. Up. Oh, token. Can't open that up. Nothing here opens. Is the pendulum in front of the towers? No. Well, what the heck? Chairs? Alright, let's see if 
think the clues have anything useful to say. Yes, that's one of these star things. That's another of the star things. to get the, the those constellations from these stars. Am I meant to be standing on the other side? Oh! Oh, okay. Well, you can go. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Straight line and pitchfork. Boom. Uh, vertical and then make a diamond beneath. Uh, so I would need. This. Nope. This. And that there. And... Bump. Or a wave. And the second dip has a bit hanging down. Ah, pendulum crystal. <laughs> One, two, three. So this is three. Uh, then this one. I think that's five. Yep, yeah, that looks like five. This one? Yeah, I guess that matches that. So that's one, just one, okay. And the remaining one... So just, uh, yeah, it's going to be that. Six, seven, eight. I have evidently done something wrong. Uh, oh, it doesn't have a flag, so it's this one. And this is five, six, seven, just seven. The keys dropped. <laughs> so I've got six keys now. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't actually know which order to use the keys. <laughs> anything new? There is this, but I still don't know what... Oh, hang on. Four, five. Five going right. Three, four, five, six, seven going down. Two going left. So two, seven, five.
ha ha. And I still can't open the giant book. But if I put it here. To confront the dragon, a weapon he needs. After the enemy is defeated in the mountains from his castle, a new reign begins. You go like down here, and then a weapon needs to be like there. Nope, be it further to the right, a little bit less. I guess good enough. Uh, and then enemy over there, a bit further, and castle. and starts his new reign. Self-writing quill. So now, Bill can finish. What? Okay, this tells me, this tells me which key goes where, I guess. Um, uh, okay. So the bottom one, let's, let's just pin this so I can see it. The bottom one bounces when thrown. I don't need the feather anymore. Did not bounce. Did not bounce. Nope. Nope. Nope, but that is repelling, so that's the right side. None of these bounced. Oh, that one bounced this time. Got distracted by the uh, repelling, I guess. You wiggle when touched, and one of them glows in shadows. Does this? Yep, there we go. That counts as shadows. Huzzah! Again, it's three out of eight. Oh. I did not do very well at finding tokens in any of those levels. But, we did manage to finish them. Screw it, let's go for the Among Us DLC next. I don't think I've seen this one either. And it's only one level. Took me about two hours to do four levels, so hopefully I can do just one or two in the remaining hour. Um, nav system fail. Locator orrery course. which planet we're at. <laughs> What's this say? S spaceship name, Skeld Mini. Date, day 345. All systems functioning nominally. No unusual spatial anomalies detected in our immediate vicinity. Security officer reports a disturbance in the crew quarters. Upon arrival, they discover the body of crewmate Blue. Preliminary examination indicates foul play. The ship's medical team is called to the scene. No life signals. Sent emergency, emergency subspace signal for the investigative team, waiting for arrival. Okay. In case of emergency, the Skeld Mini will initiate system lock. To get information on how to access other parts of the ship, please select the sections you would like to know more about. Okay, well, I'll work that out in a little bit. 
storage access card is going to be useful, key is going to be useful. Cipher override setup. to know where we are in this. Unless we're like at the center of it. Am I meant to triangulate my position? No. Cipher offline, here we go. I've got the override for this. Uh, I need to rotate it 90 degrees, so it's gonna be this. Oh god, do I- I need four keys, okay. How to align the orrery? It's not unlocked yet. Course chart, no data. There's another key. What are you? Another key! <laughs> Three... Nav signal optimal. Oh, and there's fourth key. Button. Okay. Uh, okay, so. One key here, one key here, one key here, and back, back down one. Time to actually look at this thing. Uh, storage. To gain access to the storage, you will have to restore all of the navigation systems that have shut down. Locator system, orrery system, course system. When all of the navigation systems are restored, the storage access panel will reveal itself. Swipe the access card. Okay, so I've just got to start by fixing all three things. Can I open it? No. Do you have any secrets? No. Does the plunger have any secrets? No. No hidden tokens for me. I guess I really do just have to work out like where I am. So I can see in this one, that's probably, oh, that's got three moons, huh? It's a swirly with three moons, this only has one. So I can see that one, and it is two, one, one, two, three. No? Okay. Hmm. 
Well, how am I meant to know then? select one of these and enter the ID. So, between 30 and 60, so around 45 degrees. Uh, start by going this way. Zoom out so I can scroll a lot faster. It's going to be that down there. It's got two moons. One big, one small. Just one, there we go. Two, one, four, eight, two. Two. Yes, that was Tempus Fellas. Uh, then at around 300. Around about there. Just ring. There, so that one is 10992. 10992. And between 210 and 240. That is the sun. Or just a tiny planet with nothing? It might just be a tiny planet with nothing. So 38066. Okay. Location confirmed. from Mira HQ travelled four light years at a bearing of 45 degrees. God damn it. No, give me that. I want a pin. -up. to deal with. But we got got it. Okay. Fixed that. So 45 degrees and traveled four light years. I I have to get this off my screen. This Then five light years at a redacted direction. Okay, well, five light years, the only thing we can reach would be this one. Traveled unknown light years, 225 degrees. So that's just going to be straight down to here. 
Four light years to the next direction. De um, destination, rather. Could be any of these three. And then ten light years at 90 degrees to the last. So I think it's going to be this one. And then this one. Hey, I am smart man. Okay, uh, what? And then there's the orrery. Opening the orrery. B up. And that, okay, so it's going to need this. So I need B, which was down here. So it's three. to C. 3, 6. 3, 2. 3, 6, 3, 2. key card and we have access to storage uh, I'm going to need that I think I might need the key card as well and I'm keeping my knife ventilation here okay low power the poor robot Battery slot. Okay. Missing robot. Well, I need to give it a battery first. Specimen room. That's going to need its own key card. Vitals report. Okay. Right. Oh, there's a beam. to know what the... Oh, okay. Hang on. So there's two X's in the bottom right corner. So which one is the bottom right? Potentially that. Yeah, okay. So it's from this side as the bottom right. So... I wish I could jump. <laughs> um, okay, so there's two green beside that. is indeed green, and beside the green is red. Oops. There's also another green here. Then it goes red, red, green along that side. Okay. This side goes red, 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 green. Top side goes green space, red, green, green, green from the right. 
So green space, red, green, green, green. The interior, okay. Uh, so it's gonna be on the second row from the bottom, it's gonna go red, red, blue, blue, green, red. This one, it goes from the left, red, green, green, blue, red, red. Red, green, green, blue, red, red. Hey, 2148 for the cargo box. Eight. Ventilation blocked. Oh no. Uh, what was in here? Battery. We've done well, cargo box. Now Robosh can have its battery. In you go, robot. What? This map doesn't even seem to line up with the grid. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And four instead of three. Excuse me? Oh, this is just the order it does things. Okay. So, turn, and it turns which direction? It, it essentially turns to the right. So, we want turn to the right, move forward, one. Okay, if I do this, what happens? It just keeps, it turns to the left counterclockwise, as the image indicates, but it turns until it gets a different command. So, if I have it turn here, it should hit that button. Yes. And then, after that, I want it to. Well, I want it to go forward one and then a second time, so I want to leave one blank. Then turn forward. Blank. That's stuck as a forward. So don't do that. So blank, blank. Turn. No. Put a turn just before the forward, so it should come to this edge and come down, right? Yes, okay. And then we want one gap after that, and then a turn. One forward, a turn. So it goes there, turns, faces up then goes forward, one, two blanks, and then a turn, and a forward. 
This should work. <laughs> Come on. Go, robot, go. Hell yeah! And robot comes back to me. Yeah! See something? Say something! Knife! No, give me my knife. I'm not sure what this is. Alpha tester. Is it just a weird game of lights out? Beta tester. Okay, left side connects. Bottom left. All the bottom. And the right side. So it's just that. So what are you? A toy? Boop. There's probably something you can do with this to get a... Thing in the jig, what you call it? Token. <laughs> and there we go. Insert reactor key. I don't got one of those. Open the peach drink. Sadness. Uh... Oh, access card. <laughs> Too fast. Too slow. Last chance. Failed. Are you a robot? Select only squares. Swipe the key card. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, I've managed to decipher part of the alien slug family tree. Those capsules I've locked to the table. 
You have to work on from this and add the other missing capsules. Test the genealogy tree with the lever on the back wall. What's this? Okay, hang. <laughs> you be gone. You be gone. Robo, I'm keeping with me. that I can use. They mate in pairs. Offspring inherit a random attribute from each parent. Eye shape, circle, almond or diamond. Skin colour, antenna shape. Every alien slug is genetically unique. Okay, so... really like to be closer. Fine. Uh, okay, so. Diamond and circle. Eyes. Red and green body. And sphere and cube antenna. So it would get one of Sphere Red Diamond and one of Cube Green Circle. Technically that works. Wait, no. No it doesn't. Red Diamond makes two. Circle. does not work. Green sp not sphere. Circle doesn't work. Aha! There are more. Uh, red circle sphere doesn't work. Green cube. Wait, green? No. S sphere circle. Where'd the sphere circle go? There we go. No, but sphere red circle is too many. I guess it doesn't say it inherits only one. Each child is genetically unique. So I guess it, it just has to have at least one from each. So like, yeah, there's an example. That one there has sphere, green, circle. So it's got two traits from this parent, but only the sphere from this one. Whereas that one has none. Oh, I, I put that one in. <laughs> Stupid. Which means, ah, okay, two can be this one. Um, this, these twos. Okay, so, okay, the one that I placed, probably accidentally without thinking, is what was throwing me off. So let's just open the list. There are more. Okay, so, it has to be either red or green, the antenna has to be a sphere or a cube, well, okay. Yeah, um, antenna has to be a sphere or a cube, and the eye has to be a diamond or a circle. So, you're, uh, you're wrong, and you're wrong. Get out of here. You're in the way. Uh, you're wrong. 
you are wrong. got to be this one. Now I don't know if which of these two is right and I bet I can't. Will it actually analyze? Yeah it just gives an error and I bet that's just because it's not actually full, right? If I analyze again when it's only those two in the other order, no. But I can work out this one has to have a red pair, so that's the red. And then... The other child is either red or blue. Well, these two have to be blue and yellow, so it's going to have to be blue. Blue, almond based on these two. Blue almond and either a cylinder or a sphere. That can work. It's apparently the only blue almond. And then that one's going to be yellow with a diamond eye and a cone or pyramid. Head. That's you. And then blue or yellow. Let's just bring this over here so that I've got them all in one place. Blue or yellow, they're all disqualified. With almond or diamond. Blue or yellow, almond or diamond, circle or pyramid you're expelled. You're expelled. You're expelled. And sphere or pyramid. So, oops. So that one is expelled as well and it has to be this one. Go! Tell me I'm an idiot. Nope. Okay. Two R nine five T Q. Two R nine five T Q. That gets me a key, which I can use to activate the reactor. Okay, and with the reactor on, I get access to the cafeteria. Liquid substance, random thing. In case of spill, run. <laughs> okay. Got another key. And another key. Oh, everyone is dead. <laughs> Work together, or don't, as if I care. So I guess I was the traitor. I killed all of them, and now I'm just leaving. <laughs> oh! Pizza box is empty! Horror. What about this one? Aha! Huh. Can I eat this pizza? No. That is a shame. Three keys. How does this work then? One, four, nine. Sixteen, twenty five. 36. Something 64 something. How 
does this work? I guess I might as well check this thing as well. Cafeteria? Just bring on the power system and the coolant. And use the reactor. Yep, okay. So I've done with everything that's on that instruction. Yeah, there's nothing else around here. So I just have to work out what the pattern is here. Um, oh well that's a 08 one. addition, because 1, 4 does not make 9. Nine, six. that was a, that ended in a 1. Yeah, 0, 8, and 1. So, so it's not a pattern vertically. this go then? Zero, zero, zero. One, two, three. Something six, eight. So would that then be do like the tens add together to get that um, the last one? So would that like be the zero two something? <sighs> but how do we work out the last number? It's not... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Multiples of one. <laughs> That's the only connection they have. But one times nine. Four times nine. Nine times nine. times four. That's not a multiple of four though. Probably going to start with the zero. Is that like a one nine? Uh, what 
64 a multiple of. 8 times 8. Oh! Oh! 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared, 6 squared, 7 squared, 8 squared, 9 squared. So 7 squared, oh god damn it, it had to be these 7s. I've never been good at remembering my 7 times tables. Um, da -da 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 -da. 49. Hell yes. So this tray can go in here. It asks very nicely for me to um, dispense the trays. <laughs> Somehow I still got it in time. How much time did we have left? Uh, ooh, timer would have been in this room, maybe? No. Which room would the timer have been in? Oh, there it is. Oh, I still had 17 minutes left. Damn. They give you a long time for this one. Alright, that took a lot longer than I expected. I found one out of eight tokens, <laughs> uh, but it has brought us very close to the end of the stream time, so I'm going to call it with that. If you have enjoyed, I have both a Discord and a Twitter where you can get updates on when I'm going to go live, what I'm planning to play, or if something has prevented me from going live. Um, I will stream at the same time, same day, every week though, unless something is going to prevent me from doing so. So you can expect me to be nice and consistent with that. I also have a YouTube channel. This is where you can find my old VODs. Twitch doesn't keep them for very long, it's only about a week. So if you want to go back and watch any of the older videos, that is where you can do it. Other than that, thank you very much for being with me today. Have a good one. <laughs>